Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. All right, I want to get one thing out of the way right away. I was not expecting greatness from Zootopia. From its annoying teaser trailer, which went out of its way to define the word anthropomorphic for us, to its longer teaser trailer consisting of just one scene showing that the DMV in Zootopia is run entirely by sloths, this movie seemed like a one-trick pony, no pun intended. I mean, haven't we seen anthropomorphic animals in just about every movie Disney's ever done? I mean, do these guys ring a bell? So what could possibly be new or fresh about an entire city designed by and for anthropomorphic animals who live in harmony? Well, quite a lot, it turns out. Not only is the setting of Zootopia conceptually and visually arresting, but the plot, which isn't even hinted at in the trailers, is a fun and engaging mystery story, starring some compelling characters with great buddy movie chemistry, all to set up a staggering metaphor for social issues that if it doesn't fly over kids' heads, we'll make a great jumping off point for a serious discussion about morality and human rights. I know! I thought a film like Zootopia would simply be cute. Talking animals, bright colors, etc. And it sure does look fantastic. But the film was written with wit and creativity and, in the end, quite a lot to say. Zootopia the movie, like Zootopia the place, has plenty for everyone to enjoy, whether you're great or small, fast or slow, cynical or full of hope. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. Now, you've got to hand it to Disney. Since Bolt in 2008, they've been on quite a roll. Not a dud in the bunch, and some films that were downright perfect. They also are really letting their movies evolve with the times. The company whose subsidiary company Pixar used brightly colored sprites as a metaphor for repression and created a movie about monsters in the closet that was really a metaphor for the need to find alternative fuel sources and reduce dependence on foreign oil, do not argue with me on this one, now takes its biggest bite yet using a story about cute talking animals to tell a fable about racism. Yeah, that's right. Disney is going after the most timely issue of the moment. I mean, did you see those Oscars this year? And it's doing so in a very sensitive fashion, in a way that's easy for kids to understand and in a way that will make parents stare open-mouthed at what they are seeing. I I can't believe I'm seeing this in a Disney movie. And moreover, one of the characters that has to overcome their racial bias is the story's hero, the cute little bunny. What? But I'm getting ahead of myself. Zootopia is the journey of that bunny, Judy Hopps, from her small carrot farm to the metropolis of Zootopia, where all animals, okay, just mammals, it seems, can exist and live in harmony. We first lay our eyes on Zootopia in a dizzying scene of amazing detail in the opening of the movie, very similar to what was probably the best scene in last year's Tomorrowland, where Judy takes the train into town and she stares right along with the audience at this captivating new world. You will want to watch this in IMAX 3D or freeze frame the Blu-ray when it comes out just to see all the cool little details. You can just imagine what those wacky Disney Imagineers could cook up if they ever decided to build Zootopia into one of their theme parks. At the very least, there should be some sort of ride based on this train scene alone where you too can stare in open mouth wonder at the various districts like Tundra Town and Little Rodentia. Yes, Zootopia is where any animal can be whatever they want to be. In Judy's case, she really wants to be a cop and she gets accepted into the police academy due to basically the animal version of affirmative action, which creates a little bit of tension in the department right away. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you are even cuter than I thought you'd be. Ooh, uh, you probably didn't know, but a bunny can call another bunny cute, but when other animals do it, it's a little... <gasps> I am so sorry. Yes, even in these early scenes, the racial issue is being introduced with wry humor. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine. 
Happy birthday. <laughs> there are politics at play in Zootopia, just like in our world, and they're dispensed here in subtle fashion as Judy, deemed too fragile and tiny to take down big predators, gets saddled with meter maid duty. But then we're introduced to that sly fox, Nick Wilde, and he becomes the best chance for Judy to prove herself by solving a big missing persons case. Now, these unlikely allies, I mean, much is made of their genetic predisposition to hating each other, must work together and learn to trust each other to solve the big case, which they do rather quickly. And it's at this point, midway through the second act, that the movie pulls a graceful and unexpected maneuver and becomes something altogether deeper. Judy makes a choice that uncovers a fundamental racial bias, the seemingly aloof Nick Wilde gets his heart shattered, and the issue gets whipped into a frenzy by the media, and before long the idyllic peaceful utopia of Zootopia crumbles and begins to unravel. And again, the audience may be just in shock that the film decides to go there, but it does go there, gently, methodically, and by the end it makes very simple and brilliant points about institutional racism, fear-mongering, propaganda, profiling, it's all in there! And it's handled in a deft and entertaining fashion. Wait, did I mention that this movie is fun? Because at this point I feel like I should go back and repeat that. There are jokes around every corner in Zootopia and in every frame. I myself caught sly references to Breaking Bad, The Godfather, and multiple references to other Disney films like Bambi and Frozen. It's also really fun to see how the various animals, while taking on human characteristics like wearing clothes, still retain the qualities of their respective species, like the aforementioned DMV run entirely by sloths. Judy and Nick are some of the most lovable animal characters in recent memory, and their relationship is the heart of this movie. While this movie may not be appropriate for the youngest of children, it's not because of the themes. There are just a few instances of scary, attacking, ferocious animals that had some children in the audience bolting for the exits. Here's the litmus test. If they couldn't handle Mordu, the bear from Brave, maybe wait a little bit before you take them. But everyone else, prepare to hop on the Zootopia train, baby! I guarantee you, it will take you to some fun, intriguing, and surprising places. Large bag of popcorn for this fun and thought-provoking journey that will make your eyes pop, your heart swell, and maybe your head explode. You know, in a good way. While it's not exactly transcendent in the way that the best recent Disney movies have been, Zootopia is just plain ballsy in a way we haven't seen from a Disney animated film. You will be surprised at how rich and vibrant the world and themes of Zootopia are, and even more surprised that such an edgy work could come from the house that Mickey built. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop, and click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, click subscribe so you can keep up with all the latest episodes and so we can keep doing what we do. Please leave your comments below and click the thumbs up to indicate your approval. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and don't you dare call me cute. You got it?